Hey Keeper Crew, on today's episode we're going to open up another box of 1990 to 1991 Pro Set Hockey. Looking for the Stanley Cup and the Kurt Gillis Bloody Nose. Let's do that hockey! Keeper Crew, we're at it again. We're opening another box of 1990 to 1991 Pro Set Hockey cards in search of Lord Stanley's Cup and the Bloody Nose variant card, Paul Gillis. Uh, I think I know what I, my problem was last time. Why I didn't get either one of the cards that I wanted. I didn't have uh, I didn't have top loaders and penny sleeves ready to go at the ready. So if I did get one, I can pack it up really nice. So I, I, I've corrected that issue. Uh, let's hit the Stanley Cup this time, shall we? Um, the video isn't going to be as long as last time. I don't know that I'm going to do as much commentary. I'll still talk just so it's not monotonous and, and boring to watch. But, uh, yeah, we're going to try to roll through this as quick as we can. Okay. Uh, pro set. The hottest cards on ice. Yeah. That's why they're like 20 bucks a box right now. Because they were so hot. Julio sang that song, too hot, too hot, too hot, Homer. Alrighty. So there's our stack of packs. Uh, 36 packs in this box, just like last time. Um, yeah, let's, let's just get started. Let's do this. Hope everybody's having a good day. Mm, the Mrs. Keeper is out getting her hair did. So I have some time. Brian Trottier. I have a... Mm, I gotta stop telling story. Anyway, so uh, I worked with a an enlisted person in the Air Force, Chief Master Sergeant at Peterson Air Force Base, who's related to Brian Trottier in his last name. Well, he was Chief Trottier, and it was pretty awesome. We got to talk hockey for a little while one at a time. Uh, kind of cool seeing that. Um, Never got the chance to ask him if I could get one of his cousins to, or get his cousin to sign any of my cards, but yeah. Anyway, let's continue on. Aaron brought in North Stars. Nothing in the first pack. Well, it's okay. I got the penny sleeves and the top loaders ready to go. So when we do hit. We're going to be protected. Uh, righty. Right team, wrong player, wrong card. Shoot. Nothing there. So I was just up in England not too long ago. And, uh... I used to be a billet family for hockey kids. I played played junior hockey uh, that wanted to make playing hockey a career. And one of our kids signed with the Manchester Storm. So he's playing his... Ooh, Guy Lafleur. Legendary player, Hall of Famer, fantastic. So he's up in Manchester, England, playing for the Manchester Storm this season. Uh, off to kind of a rocky start, first couple of games. Preseason was, well, it's preseason, it doesn't really count. Still feeling everything out, but yeah, I hope they can turn it around up there. Uh, we ordered a couple of custom jerseys for the team with his name on it. Oh, there's the player. Not the card, though. So the card uh, that we're looking for, his nose is bloody right here, and it's got a different jersey number listed down here. But that is the player with the bloody nose, just this is the corrected card, not the uncorrected card. So, shoot. Just like last box, we got one. This box is the same. And it's only pack number two, so maybe, uh, maybe we're going to have some luck this time. Like I said, penny sleeves and top loaders are at the ready. Got this box off of eBay, just like the last one. Um, got it for about 25 bucks shipped, so that was a good 
good pickup on that. I found uh, there was a couple of cases of these. So 20 boxes per case that were for sale. One guy was asking like 1200 bucks. The other one was asking 400 for a case. So yeesh. When you uh, when you break it down though, it's it's only twenty bucks a box, so uh, that's a ton of content that I could make off of a case if I ever decided to do that. <sighs> so only one North Stars. We got the guy, but not the right card, so that sucks. I really like the look of these old school hockey cards. In the 21-22 uh, set, they redid this this format. And um, yeah, I should see if I can go out and pick up some of that. They won't have nearly as many errors as uh, these older cards. Down bow prey, nice. Um, not many, nearly as many errors as the cards, because it seems like just about every player in this set had a oh, Mario Lemieux had an error card or some variant that was that was packaged, and they were just cheaply made rushed products that nobody really did proper proper editing and I guess corrections to to make sure that everything was good. That's a horrible action shot. He just got his mouth open. But yeah. Uh, wow. What is what is that? Okay. This is a miscut. Um, you can tell that it started off cutting off the machine. Cut this card next to another card. Uh, centering is all off. It's cut off at the name. This is this is what I'm talking about. This is this is what I'm talking about when I say quality of card is just subpar with this. I mean, this is neat. I'm probably going to keep this. But, man, isn't, that's just, that's awful. This is a new player over here. It just, I mean, look at it next to the, the All-Star. This is a proper cut card, the Paul Coffey, next to it with the Patrick Wall. It's just, wow. Huh. So garbage product. There's a reason that these were so mass produced. I mean the times it was just uh, the junk wax era of all sports. Basketball, baseball, football, hockey, Mario Lemieux. Junk wax era of cards. There were trillions of these things printed over the course of these and or over the course of about 10 years from 86 to 96 Eddie old check commentator now so finding these is relatively easy um, value is very very low unless you get the uh, the one or two gems in each set produced by the companies obviously we're chasing the Stanley Cup here and that Paul Gillis bloody nose but otherwise there isn't much value in this set at all normally what I like to do when I'm back in my home country I'll open up a bunch of these and I'll just donate the cards to kids because you know I can can make some kids really happy and it's a little bit of a tax write-off for me because it's charitable donations it's always nice when you have to give less of your money to Uncle Sam uh, our second North Star is Sean Chambers and if you remember from our last video I uh, I am a Minnesota North Stars fan. So I will be keeping all North Stars. Back in the day, we opened up a bunch of these, me and my dad. Uh, he was he was having fun with me as a kid, Dino Cicerelli. Ah, oh, love that card. 
we were opening up a bunch of these and uh, we would keep these little 10 cent coupons these things right here we had a ton of these and we'd send them off and, and get all kinds of mini sticks and and team swag and of course all I got was Minnesota North Star stuff and yeah Theo Fleury legendary So that's usually how I got my uh, my mini stick fix was from this. I, I bought, I remember I bought two sets of mini stick. It came with a goalie stick, a player stick, and like a little soft puck. And they were made of plastic and they just had printed uh, emblems on them and team names. And I bought the Minnesota North Stars and the brand new team, the San Jose Sharks at the time. This was clearly after 1991. 1990 and 91 because San Jose Sharks didn't exist yet. But I mean, these little 10 cent coupons were great for all kinds of products. Another Cicerelli. The catalog was, was pretty vast. Hindsight being what it is, I probably should have just got a, uh, I don't know, see if I could get a baseball cap or a jersey or something. Because those mini sticks got beaten and abused. I played with those things. Well, you know, as a kid, that was a good investment. Beat the hell out of those things. Knee hockey was so fun. Down in the basement. Invite some of my teammates over. Slap each other upside the head with tennis balls and all other kinds of things. Knee hockey. Good times. Violent times. The 80s and 90s were a different era for safety. Joe Sackick. Legendary Colorado Avalanche. When the Quebec Nordiques moved to Colorado. Neat card though. I actually like that one. Luke Robitaille. So we're a little over halfway done with the box. Still no big hit yet. Like I said, this is the closest we got. But I haven't given up hope yet. Hope dies last. And I'm not to my... The Beezer. What a legendary goalie, too. This time in New York and then down in Florida. Just keep moving along. Neil Broughton. Ah, our first Gretzky of the of the box. We haven't gotten a base Mario Lemieux. We got that All Star one earlier, but no base Mario Lemieux. No Brett Hall's yet either. Not that those are worth much, but still. There's base Brett Hall. Just as I start talking about it, there he is. So the Stanley Cup, I'm going to start talking about the Stanley Cup and that should show up in the next pack, right? Those, uh, the Stanley Cup cards, those hologram, holograms are, uh, individually hand numbered. There's 5,000 of them made. I'm sure if you're watching my video on this box break, you might be a little bit knowledgeable on, on this product. But if not, there were 5,000 of them, each hand numbered. And randomly inserted into packs throughout the uh, the 1990-91 Pro Set boxes, and uh, I'm starting to get suspicious. I am starting to get suspicious. It was feeling like these bottoms are opening up too easy, like they've been opened before. Like that one. I don't know if that's just a pack, or if that's, this box has been gone through before. That's concerning. I guess, what can you expect on eBay, though? It said it was factory sealed and we took the shrink wrap off, but oh, there's another Mario Lemieux. 
took the shrink wrap off. Shrink wrap off. So in theory, this could have been factory sealed. Does that look factory sealed? It's just so easy to pull open. The top is the top. It's much different. Oh, I guess it is. Hmm. Maybe I'm just paranoid. The pack seems okay. Maybe it's just my paranoia. This Afro man sings. It's just my paranoia. Running away with me. See, there's a proper cut of that Patrick Waugh. Man, that, that other one is just so weird, so unique. Like I said, that's just the product, man. It uh, cheap, very, very cheap. Yep, I think it was just my paranoia. Oh, that just popped open on the bottom too. I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. Let me know what you think. If uh, this has been pre-searched. I haven't run into any Mike Madonna rookies either. Then again, why would they take out the Mike Madonna rookies and leave a Wayne Gretzky couple of Muse? I don't. I don't know. Paranoid. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Another bread hole. Hitting a lot of bread holes. John Casey, goaltender for the North Stars. Always wanted to meet him. When I was a kid, I played hockey. And uh, I idolized John Casey. So I would watch a lot of the games and model my movements in net after him. Playing Little League. Coming apart way too easy. I don't know. Oh well, let's just have fun with it anyway. It was 20 bucks. It was a $20 product online. I just don't understand somebody who would go through a $20 box and then reseal it. Ah, this can't be. This can't be a reseal. Who knows? Right, let's just... Man, did age do this to the packs? Well, we're coming down to the very end. We have three packs left. One, two, three, that's it. Um, this one here, you can already see, is opened a little bit. I almost think somebody went through these. Man. Take some of the fun out of it. Especially if you have that assumption. Now, I can't prove anything, but at the same time, that's kind of shady. So, second to the last pack, here we go. 
We haven't hit last pack magic yet. That comes next. So far, kind of a whole lot of nothing. Here we are. Last one of this box. Come on, Paul Gillis. Come on, Stanley Cup. Get him in the same pack. How about that? That'd be awesome. A lot of no names. Paul Coffey, as I said that. <laughs> Rick Tockett. Mike Vernon. Nothing. So that was it. That was our second box here on the channel of 9091 Pro Set, the hottest cards on ice. Um, not much. Not much in the terms of stars or north stars or anything. We'll go over our considered hits. Not really a hit, but this is what we were looking for. Just the bloody nose variant of it. Uh, this is clean. This is essentially worthless. This is going to go in the garbage. But this is the picture. Um... Yeah. Bummer. Uh, we got a Brett Hall goal leader. John Casey. Uh, base Brett Hall. Base Brett Hall. Base Lemieux. Mark Tenorti. Another base Brett Hall. Uh, base Wayne Gretzky. Neil Broughton. Kurt Giles. Stuart Gavin. Gaetan Duchesne. Sean Chambers. Uh, base Mario Lemieux. We got that weird cut. Patrick Waugh. And I, it's worth nothing, but I kind of dig it, so I'm going to hold on to it. Uh, Mario Lemieux All-Star Game, and then Aaron Broughton. All right, so Keeper Crew, thanks uh, thanks for sticking around for this box break. We're going to do another one. Uh, eventually, I've got two, at least two more boxes here to do, uh, but we'll spread them out so that we get different content oh, throughout the channel. It can't just be a 90 pro set <laughs> box break channel. But thanks again, guys. Um, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Bye, Keeper Crew.